Hey y'all, I have a thrift haul for you today. I went to the bins yesterday and I went to two regular Goodwills and picked up lots of stuff, lots and lots of stuff. I have five bags here from the bins. They are this size of bags, so garbage bags full. And then two TJ Maxx bags, one full, one not full. The last place I went to, I only find two items, so. Can say that everywhere I went yesterday, I found Lululemon. So that was great, love that. Also, please excuse the mess in the back there. That is liquidation boxes. We have been sorting through liquidation for the last week, getting the other store up and going. My husband has been helping me with that project, trying to, you know, make a little extra money. Liquidation for me, because I did it for so long last year, is very easy, so. I like having that easy money coming in on the side. It's my side hustle, as is YouTube. Two side hustles. The main hustle is the selling of pre-owned clothing from Goodwill and the Bins and places like that. Three receipts here. Let's see. Let's get them correct this year, this time. At the Bins, we have we are $1.99 per pound, and I spent... $99, $95, so that's with the roundup in taxes. It was $88.65, so two, so only about 44 pounds. Not a, not a lot of of items there. That's, that's a lot less than I normally get, but I did get some good stuff, so I don't know. I didn't get anything personal that I can think of, like for myself. I always pick up stuff for other people, but not for myself, I didn't. No blankets this time. I behaved myself. I told myself when I walked in, we will not look at the blankets. And I did not. So very proud of myself on that one. <laughs> the regular Goodwills. The first one I went to, I spent $76. I don't know how many items that is. If I planned out things better, I would have counted before, but whatever. And then the next one, I got Oh, I spent $23 and two items are mine. I bought two pillows. I don't know what's wrong with me. I have a stack of pillows in this living room, but they were so cute I couldn't pass them up. And then I only found two items for resale, so that wasn't that great, but whatever. Let's get into the haul. Pair of just lucky brand jeans. I told y'all, I only found 44 pounds, so I was like, mm, let's just pick up whatever I know will sell. They are men's. Um, 38, 32s, they are straights. So I did not look them up, but I know these are probably gonna get about $20. They are in great condition though. So there was another pair there that was not in great condition that I left behind. So if it's something that's like $20, I don't wanna have to wash it and mess with it or stain treat it or hardly even steam it if I don't want to. So I try to stick with things that are super easy that I can list very quickly. This is a pair of Chico's 2.5, which is a large to extra large. But I got these because, and I have been passing up a lot of Chico's. I still pick it up because there's a lot of items that will do well, but I thought these were cute. They're like an army green pull on pant, like the viscose type material. So I think those will do pretty well, probably you know, bread and butter price. I'm not gonna get a ton of money for those, but those are cute. I don't know why I'm folding things up. This one's good. I looked up the the um, comps on this before I picked it up because definitely not a strong brand for me, not one that I know a lot about. So I always have to look it up. It is L.L. Bean and it's just a size medium, but it's, I'm finding that these super long flannel night gowns can do really well. I was talking about this to my husband last night. He's like, yeah, my mom used to wear those. <laughs> and I was like, I've considered it. <laughs> Other than it's, you know, warm here and it would be silly to wear something like this. But I could see if you were, you live in a warmer, cli uh, a warmer, a cooler climate, I could definitely see wearing stuff like this. It's really cute. I mean, it's got like the pin tuck at the front and I don't know, I think it's a really cute nightgown. I saw comps, had good sell through. And I saw comps for like $40, $50. I'll probably price around $40. I was shocked. That is, it's a nightgown, right? Love when I find stuff like that and figure it out. I didn't look this one up. 
I'll see if my husband wants this actually before I get rid of it. I don't think he will. It doesn't look like his type of hat, but it's just a pink golf hat. I picked it up because it is in really great condition and where the bends, I mean, it's like perfect. It does, it has no issues whatsoever. It doesn't look like it was ever worn, honestly, but I feel like, I don't know. I like picking up hats. I like the um, sell through of hats. I don't normally sit on them very long. And if you price them well, they will sell very quickly. So I like to pick up the hats. Oh, I wish I can remember this brand last night. I wanted to look it up when I got home. I did look this up while I was there. First off, size large. It is Catherine, Catherine Rager, Rager, anyway. I looked at the tag and it looked expensive. And it's like this super cute shape of a, it's like a cocktail dress, long sleeve cocktail dress. Is it blue? I think it's blue. It is blue. If you're ever wondering how to tell if something's blue, if you can't tell, put it up against black and you can tell it's blue. So it is, it's very dark, dark blue, but you can see up against the black, it is blue. That's one of those little things my mom taught me when I was a kid. And it's supposed to have a tie. Unfortunately, it does not have the tie with it. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Let me see, I'm pretty sure I saw where it had the little, but you know what? It is, I think this is more of like a wrap style. So maybe it's not supposed to have a tie. That's to be determined because it's got this little string right here and it's got a button on the inside. How long are these? Now these are short. So maybe it is supposed to have a tie. I'm not sure. I don't think the other side had that little thing on it, though. I don't know. Anyway, it's got, like, the little tool in, inside of it, so it flares out a little bit. Super cute. And is it any good? Fit, 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 silk. 100% silk. I didn't even see that part. That makes me really happy when I see that. Made in Canada. Anyway, it looked expensive, so I looked it up. And when I looked it up, I saw for sale prices around, and I didn't look up this exact style, but I don't see this style having an issue getting sold because it's so cute. But I saw people had some of her dresses for sale for like $500. And then I pressed sold, and it was a good enough sell through rate, good enough for evening dresses, cocktail dresses, because those do tend to have a lower sell through just because of the type of item they are you know they're special occasions and you don't have special occasions to go to all the time but anyway it was a good enough sell through to where i felt confident buying it and i saw enough sold prices that were high i mean at the end of the day it's from the bins of course i will do more research but at the end of the day it's from the bins and if it sells for 100 bucks in the next year i am happy I have a feeling it's going to be better than that, but, you know, just saying. The worst case scenario, $100 in a year, I'm happy with that one. I'm, I really think it's going to get more. This is a pair of Patagonia shorts. Now, they are missing the inside, and I will trim this up and make it look a little nicer, like someone tore it out, which I understand, because I hate these little things, too. Absolutely hate them. I have been there. I have actually torn them out myself before, so I get it. <laughs> and a fit of passion and it irritating you. Um, anyway, I picked them up because the print was so cute. It's like this, is that a duck? Yeah, it's, it's a weird duck, but anyway, the print was adorable. So I went ahead and got them anyway. Do we have pockets? We have pockets. That's always nice. <laughs> you never know. Anyway, Patagonia, extra large, great size, really cute. Swim trunks, missing the liner, whatever. Don't care because the print, maybe if they would have been like a solid black, maybe not so much pick it up on that one. This one. Oh, I forgot about you. You're so pretty. I love this one. This is a Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren, probably cotton, yes, cotton. Probably an extra large if I had to guess. It seems like it's pretty large. It is a size 10, okay, so a medium. But it's this like white, gauzy tunic, 
top and it is just gorgeous and I just love it. I checked to make sure it didn't have holes. Look at the embroidery, like embroidered lace at the collar. Look how pretty that is. Thought this was a no brainer. I did check to make sure it didn't have holes because the last time I picked up something like this turned out it did. <laughs> but that is so pretty and it wouldn't surprise, yeah, it does have stains. It does not surprise me at all. So this will get a good soaking. It is cotton, 100% cotton, so OxyClean will do just fine on that. I don't have to worry about that. This is, and it's really lightweight, so it didn't cost much. These are some Mississippi State pajama pants for my nephew and niece. They are both huge Mississippi State fans, and I always pick up Mississippi State for them. Probably see that in like every haul video. This is so cute. Did not look this up. I didn't feel like I needed to. It is a Disney store dress. What size is it? Nine to 10 months. This is just one of those, was it nine to 10 months? I can't tell. This is one of those things though, where I just saw it and was like, yeah. <laughs> now it is dirty because it's a kid's dress. You know, it's got stuff all over, but it's like, you can scratch it off. So I know, and look how bad it is, but all of it was like scratch offable. So I know I'll get it clean very easily. I will hand wash this one because it does say dry clean only. So pretty. Love this cute little dress. It's got like the taffeta collar, Peter Pan collar and cute little Pooh Bear at the top of it. So cute. I absolutely adore this dress. Is it black? It is. It is. No, it's blue. Navy blue. Just come on. That's so cute. Did not look that up. Adorable. I don't see that not selling really well. It might not sell for a huge amount or anything like that, but it's too cute to pass up. Loved it. Me and my grandpa sweaters. Look at this sweater. I like this sweater and I've never seen this brand. It, it is by Pendleton. It's Lobo by Pendleton. I did not look it up. It's made in the USA in Portland. I don't know. Lobo by Pendleton. I have no idea. But I just went ahead and baked it up because we're at the bins. So, and I like the print on it. So, I don't think this is wool or anything. So, probably cotton or acrylic or something like that. It looks like it's kind of old. I don't know. I'm going to look this brand up doesn't say what it is. That would be nice if it did, but at least I have a size. <laughs> All right, Whew. we're getting to the bottom of this bag. This is just a um, soft surroundings. I liked a lot of soft surroundings at the store yesterday. I saw a lot of it at the regular store. This is the only soft surroundings I saw at the bins. I like picking up soft surroundings. Some of it was just really out of style, but this one's cute. It's got like the Chinese motifs all over it. And it is a long link tunic. So people really love those. And it's really soft, per the name, soft. And I did have to look this brand up. All Phoenix, not a brand I'd ever heard of. Comps were kind of all over the place, but I did see good enough comps in the used market and a good enough sell through to go ahead and pick these up at the bins. Now they do have some staining on the back of them. It's a cute print too, but they do have a little bit of staining on the back of them that I hopefully I will be able to get out. We will see. Um, it almost looks like marker though. So maybe not. We shall see. I don't know. Worth a chance. I don't mind picking up stuff that has little stains in it here and there. I always stain treat. It doesn't bother me. Hey, a brand. These... Those last three things and this was in an old bin that had already been gone through like by everybody and still found them. Beta brand, size large, black pants, the normal plain black pants. These should sell very well. Like this is the style everybody's looking for. Size large. I'm always so tempted to keep these. These are in great condition too. They look like they're new. Like there's no wear on the um, tag or anything like that. So super, super happy about finding 
those. They don't have the, the pockets are still intact. They haven't ripped them open. So I would say that these do not get worn very much. So love it when I find something like that. I kept digging through that, that pile. <laughs> Anytime I find a good brand at the bins, I keep digging because I'm like, maybe I'll find some more. <laughs> Which beta brand doesn't get like huge amounts of money, but it does sell super fast. So this, I feel like it's a children's. It is Jean, M M it's upside down. Jean Michel Basquat. It is a designer. It does need a good washing. Comps are all over the place, so I'll have to look into why it is a kids. That's unfortunate. It's a large kids, 12 to 14. I probably still would have got it just because of that it is an expensive fur designer brand. It's cute. That's how you can tell. I know that that crown on the drawings is Pasquat. If you find ones that have like the all over print, they can do really, really well. So that one might not so much, but you know, when you see a brand that you've never gotten before, you know, try those things out. All right. I keep getting confused by this one. Okay. It has like a cow neck that is attached right here. It's weird. But this is so cute. It is kind of a poncho. It's not a poncho, but it's just it's a sweater with like a poncho-y feel to it. But it's got like this super cute all over print, mixed medias prints. It is curio which is sold at Anthropology, And I just got it because it was so cute. I mean, I think this is adorable. I did look it up and it did have some okay comps. So, and it does have wool in it. Feels like it has wool in it. All right, I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Throat's kind of scratchy this morning. I really wore myself out yesterday. I'm very tired. There is an Anthropology store near this area and a Lululemon store near this area. So I think that's why I find so much anthropology. This is by Anthropology. It's extra small, super cute. Little viscose joggers that are in camo and really nothing to, else to say there other than their pants. <laughs> I don't see me getting a ton of money for those, but they should sell, they should sell are okay. And then let's see, oh, Mountain Khakis. So I have picked up this brand for a while now to try it out. And I'm not seeing the sales that I thought I would on it. And it is a nice high quality brand, but I guess I've been picking it up for about three months now. So it was at the bins. So I went ahead and got it anyway. It's a weird size. It's 40 by 30. Maybe I shouldn't have picked that up. <laughs> I left some of this person's stuff behind. There was a couple other things that I left behind because it's such a weird size. But the pants with the gussets seem to do a little bit better than regular pants. So I went ahead and got them. And plus they were in great condition. They don't look like they were worn very much. So I just got them. I think there's two more pairs in here. There's one or two. I can't remember. What is this? This is Task Performance Wear. This is a good brand. It has a good sell through. It doesn't sell for super high amounts or anything like that, but it does have a good sell through. I really like this shirt. My size, it's a large. I might have to try this one on. This one might stay with me, especially knowing that I can put it on the trying pile, especially knowing that it doesn't get a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, it's a $20 shirt. I will miss out on that $20 to keep something I like. Like I need another shirt. This is free, people. It's a size large. She needs a little work. She's got a lot of pilling going on, but I thought this was really cute. I kind of hem and hauled on this one on whether to get it or not, but I just went ahead and got it. I, I don't like having to clean up pilling on clothing, but I think that's the only thing I, I think I picked up only two things that need to be cleaned up, so. I guess there's not a ton of stuff to have to work on. It's not as bad. This is a Hot Topic skirt. Get cute little, I guess this is probably, yeah, this is why. <laughs> cute little sailor type detail. And this is just a cute skirt. Oh, and it was new attack. 
right with new ish new ish with tags because the tag is torn and that's just a goodwill tag but it's size 3x hot topic hot topic sells it doesn't sell for a ton of money but it does sell there are people actively out there looking for it what do we have here oh the first lululemon the first lululemon i felt these and they felt good and there was no tag and the button was just plain and I was like god this feels like something good so I continue to look and you can see there is a lululemon mark on the zipper and then I think there's another there it is right there and I'm sure I have no doubt these feel like they are brand new so Happy, happy, happy about finding them. I'm looking for the size dot. Size dots can be found in the pockets of Lululemon. They seem like these are really tiny, so probably a very small size, unfortunately. I can't get my fingers into this pocket. It would be nice if they would just like put them in the, a bigger spot. <laughs> An easier to find spot. I don't see one, I'm not gonna keep looking. But anyway, like I said, they just felt high quality when I felt them and lo and behold, they were Lulu. So happy about that. Hopefully I can find the size dot. They are definitely tiny though. And these aren't like the normal exercise pants. These are like a commuter type pant. So nice pants. This is a brand I keep hearing about and I've never seen it. It is Zaya. It's got this little moon on it. If you see the little moon, you might want to pick them up. They sell pretty quickly from what I saw for an okay price. I mean, they're not getting Lululemon prices or anything like that. But as far as leggings go, I, I have a hard time finding stuff like this that does well. So I'm always happy to find a new brand that does well. And these will. And there's another pair in here somewhere too. So I did get two of them which I love getting two pairs because then I can try it out like fully. This is a cute sweater. This is also Chico size two, so size large. I just love the color of this one. I thought that was a really pretty color. And the funny thing is, is when I went shopping later on at the regular Goodwoods, I found this exact same sweater, same color, same size, everything. I did not get it. <laughs> I think one is enough. Of course, now this will probably sell in like a day. And I'll be like, why didn't I pick up the other one? Does it have any good fabric? I didn't think so, no. But still, super pretty, great color, great condition. Love that sweater. Oh no, I didn't realize I got this. I didn't look this up. Whoopsie, Hank. Thank you, sir. Shh, be quiet. We're filming. This is R and K Evening. I can't tell you if it's a good brand or not. Didn't look it up. That was my bad. It is silk, 100% silk, and it is a size 10, so it's good. And it's like, it's really pretty brocade fabric. It's very, very pretty, and it's in great condition. So, well, I didn't look it up, so we'll see how that does. That was dumb. Should not do that, but. Oh well, here we are. And then, huh, I didn't look this up either, but I, I think this one's a no-brainer. I don't think things like this. Oh, I see a big old hole in it. Oh, never mind. It was it was a Lane Bryant maxi dress, but I am not even going to. It's cute, cute little print to it, but I'm not going to try to fix this. Can't believe I missed that. It happens. And I'm usually pretty thorough about, where did it go? See, now I can't even see it. <sighs> it's so aggravating. There it is. That's why. It's actually at the back, which is weird. Usually a hole in something is gonna be around the arm area. So I guess I just didn't even think about to look at that. I don't know. Oh well, it is what it is on that one. I like this shirt. It's going in the throwaway pile. This is Pilcrow. Pilcrow, and it's a size large. I really like this shirt, like a lot. I kind of want to keep it. 
I'm gonna look up comps for this one. If it's around 20 bucks, I'm gonna keep this one too. I don't need any more clothes. Why do I keep buying clothes? <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of all my cheap clothes. That's my plan, like in the near future. How long is this? Let's see. Oh, it's really long too. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna put that in the try on pile. I really like that. <laughs> my plan, like this, this shirt. Love this shirt. It's really soft. But it's like a Target brand. So it's probably going to wear out really soon. Because I wear it so often. And I'm trying to get higher quality, better clothing over time. I want a closet full of Blue and Gray and um, Bren Walker and Eileen Fisher. <laughs> Unfortunately, those brands sell well, except for Blue and Gray. It doesn't. This is North Face. Is it a medium? It feels like a medium or a small. It feels small. I can't see that. I can't see it, so whatever. It's like a pull on North Face. It is the like zipper can zip to shorts from pants type thing. So those are pretty popular. Super happy about finding those. I mean, it's North Face. They're not going to sell for a ton of money, but at the bins, they're light. They'll do well. Fill up on this brand. And I seem to find it a good bit at our bins. And I wonder if people up there just don't know the brand. So if you listen to me and you are, you shop up there, don't tell everybody this is a great brand. I'd rather they not know. <laughs> Let's just keep that among ourselves. It's cool. K U H L. It is a size large. It is a women's because it has the heart on it, not the shield. The men's has a shield. Women's has a heart. And it's this super cute little fleece jacket. I love it. I think it's adorable. So happy, happy, happy about that. It always sells really fast. Oh Lord, I forgot about that one too. I'm not gonna do that one yet because it's, it's gonna be a lot. This needs to be washed. This is knit and not knitted and knotted. This is their label, and it's also a size large. I feel like I might have picked up someone's wardrobe, but it's super cute. I really like this sweater. I thought this was nice. Knitted and knotted was sold at Anthropology. I don't know if it still is, but it is in good condition. I do think it needed a wash. I think I did see a spot on it somewhere. I'm looking for the materials tag, and I'm not seeing it. It's usually knitted and knotted. has pretty good materials, but... And it feels really soft, so. I am not seeing a materials tag, so I can't tell y'all what it has in it. But, like I said, super soft, super cute little sweater. And it's got like these sheer sides on it. So, very cute. I'll have to check that one better for stains though. Oh Lord, I don't know how I'm gonna show this one to y'all. So. This doesn't have a brand, and it is most likely vintage. It is definitely wool, even though it, I don't think it had a materials tag, but we're gonna go with it. <laughs> it is a cape, and it is a giant cape. I'm not gonna be able to show it to y'all, I don't feel like, but I got it because it's a cape. One of the first things I ever sold that I had thrifted was a giant, long, wool cape that was gray. This one is even even better color. It is a dark red. And it sold for 80 bucks very quickly. This was like two, three years ago, so. <sighs> but this one, hope y'all can see it. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on. Let's see. Let's just put it on. I can get the full effect. It's got like a little thing here. I have no idea how that works. Oh my goodness, it's so itchy. But, let's see. Oh, Rosie doesn't like it. That's my dog. She hates everything. Look how cute this is. Look at this. Look at the way it like goes around your side. I didn't try this on at the store. But look at this. How cute. How great. And it's like a big cape. Oh, I am in love. I am absolutely, it's got big old deep pockets. This is 
fabulous. <laughs> I love that. So, I am going to hit it high. I am going to try to get a ton of money for it. I might sit on it till next winter. I don't even care because I love stuff like that that much. It makes me excited when I find things like that. Okay. <sighs> now my neck's all itchy from all the wool. Oh, goodness. All right, here's the pile of Peter Millar. I have one of the bins, I started pulling Peter Millar one after another, after another, after another. So, we're gonna go, they are all my husband's size. So, probably will not be able to sell these. He'll probably keep them because he does love Peter Millar. So, I got really lucky on that. So, I'm gonna throw these to the side, but Peter Millar, Y'all saw on Monday's video, I sold one of the shirts I had got for my husband for $32, I think. I'm not really sure. I don't remember. But it was a polo like these. And sold very, very quickly on Poshmark. So, great pickup. If he doesn't like all of these, they will sell anyway. Here is another one. That's two. That's three <laughs> that's four that's five this is crazy are they all extra large yep it's five and then number six he will not want so i found six of them and this one is a long sleeve button up so that one will go in this pile but uh it would be great if he wanted all of those that would be great five shirts you know He's basically got like a whole Peter Millar wardrobe at this point, which is wonderful. Love when I find stuff like that. Another pair of cools. Let's see, where's the shield? Where is it? So one of the ways that I identify cool very quickly at the thrift stores, I gotta pull y'all closer to me. There we go. Is this button. So you see how it's open like that? That's their little snap button that is on all of their pants and, and shorts and stuff. So, I can identify them very quickly with that button. I don't see their little logo. Well, here's the shield right here. But usually there's one that's embroidered on the outside. And this one, these don't have it. Strangely enough. That's kind of weird. Maybe they're older. I don't know. Or maybe they're newer. They look older. But these are 38, 32, which is a great size. And it's just cool. KU. HL. Love, love, love selling that brand. Such a great brand. What is this? Are you anthropology? You sure look like you are. I don't think you are, though. Nope. Oh, blue and gray. Okay, I know. I just said I was going to stop picking up blue and gray, but I couldn't resist this one because it was extra, extra large, and it's just so cute. It is like this light orangey color, and I don't even like orange, but I like this color. And it's like a tunic style sweater and it's highly scented in perfume. Oh, my goodness. But it's a great color. It is so soft and cushy, much like blue and gray usually is. And like I said, that size is great. Had it been a small, I probably would have passed it on by. These are Adriano Goldschmied. These are, I think, that weird size again. No, these are 36, 34. You know what? These are my husband's size, but I don't think he would want green pants. So I don't think I'll offer these to him. But they are the Protege, Adriano, a couple of Schmied. There's another pair that were a lot more worn by the, from the same person, probably, that I left behind. So good size. And then, you know what? I didn't look this one up. Oh, this is for my husband too, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I want it. But I have picked up this brand before and other stuff and it sold super fast. I don't see it very often, but every time I've ever picked it up, it has sold really fast. I don't think he's gonna want this. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the sell pile. But the Drake brand does sell super fast. I did not look up the specific fishing shirt and fishing shirts are super lightweight, so you're not paying much for them at the bends. It's good filler material. 
especially on a day like this where I'm only finding 44 pounds. So I like to pick up stuff like that when I know it's a good brand. Another pair of mountain khakis, 35, 32, much better size. I don't know what possessed me to pick up that other size. I don't know why I would do that, but these are like a cargo with the, the knee thing. These need to be washed. I remember that. The knees were dirty, but more mountain khakis that possibly won't sell. Don't know why I keep picking these up. <laughs> I need to go and look at my, my numbers on these. I feel like I haven't ha picked up that many pairs in the last three months. And I just started picking them up in like the last two months, probably around December is when I discovered the brand. So the jury's still out on this brand, but I'll have to reevaluate in the middle of the summer and just see how they've done and see if I want to keep picking them up. And it's not because I'm pricing them too high, because I'm not. And then probably the same person, 35, 32, another pair, darker color, same spiel. Again, this one's cute. I really like this dress. I think this will sell really well. It is free people. It's um, a different tag. It's a size small, but it is oversized. And it's so cute. Look at this embroidery. All these free people embroidery, embroidered dresses do so well. And it's like a, probably a little bit more than a knee length. Not much more, but it's just so cute with the little razor back detail. <laughs> this is adorable. I feel like this will be a popular one that will sell very quickly, if I would, if I had to guess. And then, a pair of bed stews. So at our bins, when they put those shoe bins out, people go nuts. Like they run to it. They make everybody go outside when they do our bins. Whenever they do the rotation, they rotate like every 45 minutes to an hour, which is great. Like you don't even have time to look through everything before they're rotating again. But they make everyone leave the store, go sit outside, or staying outside doesn't take them that long. And it's small. It's a very small location, but they will do half of the bins in the store, which I know is great. I'm very lucky there. It'd be nicer if it was bigger, but whatever. At least they, they change out half of the bins. Anyway, when the shoes come out, like 90% of the people there run to the shoes. So I do not run to the shoes. <laughs> I am not interested in that life, you know, but plus I don't have a lot of room for shoes, but I do go over and dig through the shoes after the crowd leaves <laughs> and these women come away from that shoe area with like handfuls of them. It's ridiculous. Bed stews. They are little cute bed stew. The leather on these are in great condition. It needs a good cleanup. They were well loved, obviously. And the bottoms are pretty worn, but I still picked them up because they were bed stews. And like I said, they were in, the leather was still in very good condition. Y'all know I don't enjoy picking up shoes that are really, really worn, but I feel like bed stew is worth it. And now I'm looking for a size. Yes, they have a size. I am bad about not checking to make sure shoes have a size. That is definitely one of my worst qualities <laughs> as a thrifter. All right, this brand, I'm gonna put this, oh wait, let's do this one first. Cause these are easy, easy pickup, easy, easy pickup. It's just Merrill's, summertime's coming, spring, summer's time's coming. I don't expect a lot of money for these, but we have spring, summer coming and I cannot see that size and my glasses aren't over here, so oh well. They look tiny though, they look like a size six. They did not have a lot of wear on the bottom of them. Yes, they need a little bit of cleaning, but not so much that I can't handle it. And the leather was in excellent condition still. So definitely picked those up. Easy sales. They're not going to get a ton. I mean, they're Merrill's, so. All right, the rest is all one brand, and it's three of them. And I put them in the category as what I was talking about with the mountain khakis. I kind of feel the same way about this brand at this point. So I have been seeing it a lot lately for whatever reason, and I have been picking it up because it is very obvious that it's a good quality brand. 
but I don't think any of them have sold yet. Now, in my defense, I haven't picked any, yeah, I've only been picking them up for a couple of months, so. Jury's still out once again, but the bottoms of these were in great condition. These shoes in general were in great condition. They are super cute, cloggy type shoes. It is Basola. And it is to be determined if this is a great brand to pick up or not. Well, we'll see. I need to go and look at both of these brands and see if anything is going on with them. Um, Relook up comps, maybe relook up sell through on both of them because I feel like I did not research them well enough. Or maybe I just need to see which styles sell the best. So I don't know. I need to do some work on these two brands because I do see them often. So I always tell y'all if there's a brand you see often, you probably should do a lot of research or, you know, do your due diligence, get some research out there and figure out what in that brand does well. So, and what you should leave behind. So maybe I should be leaving some of them behind and picking up some of them. And then same brand again, these are boots and I know it's the wrong season, but I don't think these were ever worn. They look brand spanking new. So beautiful leather on them, beautiful suede. Probably will not sell until the fall, whatever. <laughs> I just thought they were really nice. And the other thing that we got about this brand is it does say what the name is on the inside of them. Where's the size? I don't see a size. Please, please, I need you to have a size. What, why don't you have a size? Oh yeah, it does, 39. It does have a little bit of wear on the inside, even though they look brand new. So I don't know if these just sat in somebody's closet and deteriorated over time, maybe they're older. I don't know, but don't know, don't care, pick them up because tall boots always sell for me. I don't normally have a problem moving them. All right, regular Goodwill. <laughs> Regular Goodwill. How much did I spend at this one? I spent at this one. Do y'all care? I don't know if you care. Anyway, that whole stack, everything I just showed you, costed me 95 bucks. That's not bad. That's a lot of stuff for $95, right? And then this one, this bag right here, costed me $77. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 items. It's not great. It's not terrible. I'm okay with it. Oh, this was cute. It is almost time to stop picking stuff like this up. This is just loft, so nothing great. There's new tags though. And their tags half off was purple yesterday. This one's blue. So I paid $4.49, which I thought was a pretty good, $4.98, I thought that was pretty good for this. And new tags like a pullover, it's got the fair isle thing going on. And it's like this soft Sherpa, almost like a mini Sherpa. I have no idea what that's called. Bu, 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 bu play, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I really like that. I thought that was cute. So I picked it up. A Pendleton wool blazer. I need to stop picking this brand up. I pick it up because it is, because it's Pendleton. This doesn't have a price, so I'm gonna put this to the side because I know she priced it the same as this blazer. How much is this blazer? This blazer was $6.98, so she priced it $6.98. But I thought this was cute and it has an excellent condition. I did leave something else behind that was Pendleton. Does it have a size? Sizes are nice. They like sizes. I don't think it does. Cool, love that. Oh no, it says size 14. So maybe it's old because that does not look like a 14 to me. Maybe I don't know. J. Crew blazer. These sell really well for me. I don't ever have a problem getting rid of J. Crew blazers, especially when they're fancy, fancy ones like this that have a name of the wool that was used in it. And it has the name of the jacket too. It's a Campbell Traveler, which is really cool. 
makes it very easy to list and find information for. This one, you can tell this one's like really high quality and nice. So anyway, J. Crew Brew Blazers just always sell really fast for me. I just sold one yesterday. Somebody sent me an offer for it. It was a little brown one from last week. I haven't paid yet, but it sold in one day. So, so it wasn't paid for in one day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, $6.98. I'm looking for the size. Size 8. There we go. And then the materials tag. It's going to be wool. I know that. 100% wool. So, excellent. Love that. Love the blazers. Oh, no. Hold that. Stinking moss, man. Did not see that. It's the second item I had damage on that I didn't see. I have to get better at that. Dang it. I, and I checked for the buttons. I remembered to do that. And I didn't see this. I don't think that's sellable. That sucks. Ugh. All right. Let me get over that. It's my own fault. I can't blame anybody for that. Okay. These I got for $4.98. It is Sphinx. Size medium. Genish. Love finding Sphinx. They always sell fast. Super super great sell through on those. You don't get the amounts of money that you used to for them, but oh well. Eileen Fisher, the new without tags. It has like the little thingy on it. $4.98. Great price for some Eileen Fishers. So pull on classic Eileen Fisher type stuff. And if y'all don't know, I feel like I should say this every now and again. These are tinsel and linen, great materials. And you see these numbers at the end right here, right there at the end. If you Google Eileen Fisher and put those numbers in, you usually can find the style name for these. Not always, it's not a sure thing, but it happens enough to where you can. My stomach's growling. It's time for lunch. Another pair of Zayas. This was at the regular store. So happy about that. Like I said, I'm always happy when I can find a new brand and try it out. These were $5.98, so a lot more than at the bins. But these are totally different. So I found two different styles to try out, which I really love. And then what is this? What do we have here? Oh, more task. Size large task pants. These are a crop. Yeah, crop. Pull on, stretchy, nothing special. And I would have left these, but they were half off. So they ended up being $2.50. So price like that, I will pick that up. This is mine. I did pick this up for me. Yeah, I need three items from yesterday. That's how, it's ridiculous. It's time to clean my closet out. I just keep getting more stuff. <laughs> but I thought this was really, it's Garnet Hill. So I know, if it doesn't fit me and I don't like the way it fits or something, I, I'm pretty sure I will. But if I don't like the way it fits, it's Garden Hill. It'll sell fast. So, not worried about it. Garden Hill is a brand that I actually don't see very often. But I do like this brand. It is so soft. It's very blue and grayish like. My kind of style type thing. I love this. I want to put it on right now. That's how much I loved it. Put it over there. Try it on the video. I just told y'all these sell so fast for me. Um, I sold a Mississippi, nope, I sold a Texas A&M Aggies one Monday for 30 something dollars. I don't remember how much it was. It is these Nike, this one's six dollars. Nike pullover sports team type things. I don't know what these are called. It's not really a shirt, it's not really a jacket. It's like a, but it's not a shirt jacket either. It's not open front. It's just a pullover. I have no idea. But I've always, I always tell y'all that Alabama does really well. Has a great sell through. But these Nike pullover type things just do well in general. So I do like to pick those up. What is this? This is Lulu. <laughs> this was hanging in the men's section. The jackets. I very rarely do I find anything in the men's jackets. So soft. But I just, I don't know, I felt it and I didn't see a tag. Anytime I don't see a tag, I, I look at it closer because it probably is Lulu if it's, you know, 
it's soft and comfy and blah 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 five bucks four nine four ninety eight and I don't remember where I saw the Lulu but I did somewhere on here oh and this is the size right here this must be men's this is the size these three little lines tells you what the size is for it where is the Lulu insignia on it I want to show y'all where it's at so you know where to look how did I figure this out I'm not that good I'm not even close you see how many items I found with holes oh there it is <laughs> there it is all right ah, wearing myself out y'all I feel like this is gonna do well I like this one a lot it's so soft the inside's got like a different material I like this this is super super soft and comfy so tempted to keep this one too. I'm not. I'm not going to keep it. We don't need three items. I don't even need the three I did keep. Is this Carhartt? It's a scrub shirt. Well, this was weird. And I picked it up. Because <laughs> it's weird. And it was $5. It's a size large. There was actually two of them. But the other one had the wash wear on it. It was like gray at the top. And a different color. And it had a lot of wash wear, so I didn't get that one. But I did get this one because I figure this is going to be a bread and butter piece. This is not going to get a ton of money. But it is Carhartt, so it'll sell fast, which I like the high sell through. You know, if you're not going to sell for a lot, at least sell fast. This I saw last week. Left it behind because it was $6.98. And did not want to pay that much for Fabletics because Fabletics tends to not to do all that well for me. But... I did like that it was a jacket, that it was a full zip up jacket. It's a nice little jacket too. And it was a full zip. It's a nice jacket. Let's just put it that way. And you know, of course it's a jacket, so it's gonna get more money just for the fact of what it is. More so than like the leggings, which you can find all day, every day. I actually did see Fabletics leggings that I left behind. But seven dollars, so $3.50 is what it was this week, so I did go ahead and get it, and it looks like it's brand new. I was tempted by it last week, actually, but I did leave it. <sighs> the pile's getting high. <laughs> and the last item, what is this? Of course, it's Peter Millar. <laughs> I find so much Peter Millar up there. This is $4.98, and it's just a regular old plaid button-up long sleeve shirt. Nothing special. But I like to pick up here more. Okay, last two items, y'all. We're almost done, and I need some lunch. So, oh, here's my pillows. They're so pretty. I like them. There. <laughs> my husband looked at me questionably whenever <laughs> I said I got pillows. I was so I was like, I didn't get any blankets. Aren't you proud of me? He was like, Yeah. So it's not I got pillows. <sighs> What's wrong with me? Jamie McLaughlin. I love this brand. It always sells super fast. $4.48, size medium. It is a beautiful, I've never picked up linen with Jamie McLaughlin. It is filthy. It's gonna need a very good soaking. She is filthy, but look how cute this is. I got it anyway, I didn't care. It's got like this button sides and it's linen and it's like a long tunic shirt. I love this shirt. Maybe if I can't get the stains out of it, I'll just keep it. I need to keep more stuff. Got it. I've got problems. I have serious problems. I love shopping and I love clothes and I love wearing things, but I love this shirt. I just think it is gorgeous. Look at that. Like this is like the quintessential beach type shirt that would be great here in southern Louisiana where it is 82 degrees today with hu high, high, high humidity. It is wet outside. It has not rained. It is wet outside from the high humidity today. It's gross. I hate it. Anyway, <laughs> this is like the quintessential Louisiana southern woman shirt right there. And then the last Lululemon piece that I found at this store. One Lulu for every place I went to yesterday. I'm so happy about that is a super thick like jacket now this is messed up so i will cut this off i just there's no point in leaving that there we're just calling out the fact that it's messed up at this point but it still has like the regular zip which is fine the zipper works fine 
I did find the size on this one. It was in the pocket, size 10. So great size. Yep, 10. It's like really, really thick sweatshirt material. This is really nice. So, and it doesn't have any stains, which is kind of surprising with this color. <laughs> Usually with this color, you're gonna find some stains, but I didn't see anything. I still would've picked it up and cleaned it. So, love that pickup, definitely. Love a day when I can find three pieces of Lululemon. Found Cool, found Jay McLaughlin, found Eileen. I hit all the great points, found lots of stuff. So I'm very happy with yesterday's haul. Um, that's it. Oh, and Spanx, I found Spanx. And I found some new brands. So that's all a girl can ask, right? And I got some stuff for myself. Too much stuff for myself, obviously. I need to put at least one of those back. <laughs> I'm gonna go try a one and I'm gonna put one back, maybe. Probably not. Probably not gonna put it back. Y'all have a great day. Thank you for watching. If you're still here, please give me a like. And if you like this kind of content and daily what sold videos, give me a subscribe. Goodbye. Thank you for coming.